All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to cook spaghetti squash. A lot of people, they're really interested in spaghetti squash because it's a low carb option for pasta, but they don't quite know how to do it or make it, or they don't make it properly, so they have a really bad experience with it. So I wanna share with you guys how I make my spaghetti squash and kind of show you some tips to make it even better. First mistake that I see a lot of people make with spaghetti squash, well, I won't really call it a mistake, but what I will say is that it makes life a lot difficult, is that they cut it long way. So I'm gonna show you the first thing to do to ensure that you um, cut it the right way. The second thing that I see people do is that they don't season it properly. So they'll just use like salt and pepper and call it a day. That's not gonna cut it. Because it's a squash and because it's kind of neutral in its taste and flavor, you wanna make sure that you give it some good flavor so that way it really mends well with however you dress it, whether you're doing a bolognese like I did or you just use some olive oil and some basil and some sun-dried tomatoes or whatever, how you ever do it. It doesn't really matter, but make sure that you season it accordingly. The third thing that I see people do incorrectly is that they don't cook it on a high enough temperature. I like to put the oven at 400 degrees and make sure that it gets more of like a roasting type of feel to it. The higher temperature allows it to kind of caramelize a little bit and allows some of the flavor to really develop. And so you have a much flavorful um, spaghetti squash, but also has a nice texture to it. So it's not too mushy, has a still a little bit of bite to it, but it also has this like nice roasted developed flavor. So. These are my tips for spaghetti squash. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think about it and what you've done with it to make it more flavorful and delicious. So I've cut the spaghetti squash into little rings and I just clear out the middle with a spoon or a knife. So that is out. So I just simply cut it. I like this method already because it eliminates having to cut it lengthwise um, and just makes it just a lot easier to manage, especially once it's done baking. Next step is add some really good olive oil. So you're just gonna use some olive oil, you're gonna drizzle it onto the Here spaghetti. Are the seasonings that I'm using, I'm using onion salt, basil, thyme, and garlic powder. Actually, wait, I think I'm gonna do some oregano too. Bam, and oregano. So that's gonna be my combo to season. All right, so it's all done. I have the olive oil, I have all the seasonings and dried herbs on there. So that's all good, everything is coated. Both sides are coated. Um, the beauty is once you just drizzle the olive oil and the seasonings on, just flip it over and just rub it around and both sides get, co uh, get covered. So it's at 400, it's gonna go in for about 15 minutes and then I'm gonna flip it and then cook the other side. 15 minutes and I wanna show you guys, I'm flipping them over now and as I flip them, this is that caramelization I was talking about, getting that brown um, color and that crisp to it really helps to make, give it extra depth of flavor. So these are gonna go back in for another 10, 15 minutes or so and then I'll let them cook. All right, so they are out of the oven. So they cooked 15 minutes on one side. I did like 12 minutes on the other. So they're all cooked and cooled. So the last part of the equation is to fork them. And I'm gonna show you how to shred your spaghetti squash. So it's super simple. You just literally just fork it. <laughs> And just go around in circles, get all of the goodness out. Look at that. It's such an easier way, and I keep it on the tray so it can pick up all the little seasonings on it. And then you just keep going one at a time. Super simple, guys. So easy. All right, here's the finished product. Oven roasted spaghetti squash. It has tons of texture because we didn't use any water and the caramelization of it gives a nice little crunch to it, nice little bite. Then we had garlic powder, onion salt, thyme, oregano, and dried basil. It's super flavorful and it will go with however you wanna dress it.